A little update on my uh, little, uh, I don't know what you want to call it really, probably a, I don't know, set lawnmower engines in it to melt, so I got uh, a couple buckets of this refactory cement. So, main reason I got it was the way this is dished in down here. I don't know if the, you can really see that with the camera on the camera or not, but uh, I start melting them motors. All this bottom has to fill up with aluminum, melted aluminum, before it starts dripping out the hole. So my thought was to fill this up where it comes slightly uphill and the holes down at the bottom. So that just as soon as it starts melting down, it's going to run down towards the hole. But the instructions say to only put it on about an eighth of an inch thick. It's actually made for cementing bricks together. So, yes, yeah, it's still pretty soft down there. Just let it dry for 24 hours. So, put this on there probably about one, two o'clock. It said make sure, yeah, be above 60 degrees. It was a little cool this morning. Real windy earlier, but uh, got the first coat on, and I'll start just building up. I run a bunch of screws through and left them sticking up a little bit, so that'll help hold it. I think I'm I got two buckets of it, so I think I got quite a bit. So I may try to uh, get some hardware cloth or something and run it around the, the around the outer edge on the inside. Run some screws in there to hold it, and grind the screws flush on the outside. And then uh, try to put a eighth inch or quarter inch thick layer on around the outer outer edge. That'll keep a lot might help keep a lot of heat from transferring out. Hopefully, I'm not sure how good this insulates, but uh, I don't want to put fire brick around it. That take up a lot of space. If I was going to do that, I might get more fire brick and then use that uh, big Craftsman air tank I got out there, but that thing's big. Because I measured it where I should be able to take an engine off of a riding mower and set it down in there. But I know I can push mowers, motors fit in there with a lot of room. If I was just doing them, I could probably put fire brick around it and cement them in there. But... Uh, I might just try to go with an eighth inch, quarter inch, just to see if that'll help retain the heat so it doesn't transfer through the sides. And then, it, of course, it's getting hot enough, it's melting it. So, but I just think if it retained the heat, it would just get there quicker. Anyway, that's where I'm at on that. So, we'll pick it up again later. Hello, scrappers. A little quick update on my. Uh, aluminum motor melting barrel I uh, as I said before the bottom of it was dished so I've added several layers I think I still have a little low spot right in here so if I need to build this up a little bit more and yeah, smooth it out smooth it out over here by the drain hole some but uh, picked up some hardware cloth without picking up some scrap and there's some hardware cloth there so I thought okay I can use that so I've been using little self tapping screws they're pretty short and I've run a bunch of those through to hold the hardware cloth there's some thick spots other places it's right up against the, the side so I'm going to put another thin coat on it Try to hide all the wire that way all the heat doesn't get to the wire I got a screws down I got one putty knife where did I do with it it's probably on the ground anyway I got one putty knife the corners are rounded on so I'll probably try to take it and, and go around these, these but right at the edge where the bottom and the side meet you have a little bit to fill right there Kind of round that off just a little bit, and uh, but I thought I'd give you an update. 
So hopefully that'll help some of the heat transfer from transferring through the side and help keep it a little hotter inside. Of course this stuff's only rated for 2,000 degrees so I probably won't be able to turn it up as high as I've had it. But I got some places here it's kind of low. I need to probably run my finish sander right around the top edge and get these little rough rough spots off before I put that other coat on. But thought I'd give you an update on it and uh, hopefully in another week or two it'll be ready to start melting uh, melting aluminum again. But I don't know, I've been so swamped this month with calls going out bringing stuff in, trying to get it unloaded and get out and get another load. I'll probably be even busier next month. And I had a guy call today, he's got he bought some land and there's a bunch of metal over there he wants me to take a look at about hauling off. He's got a bunch of old appliances. So Looks like I told him, I said, well, I probably won't run my ad in July, so I can probably for sure get him in July. But I told him if I'm out that way, I can swing by. I told him I get a lot of calls out Little Axe and go out Highway 9, getting there, and he's only three miles, three miles south of Highway 9, so not far out of the way at all. So at least I, if I go out after something, I can come back with a full trailer. Yeah, I got a few pits and stuff. It took a little while to just to do all this. I smoothed it out pretty good with this uh, this little plastic squeegee. The squeegee is actually designed for putting decals on on windows or cars or whatever. But uh, it's been working pretty good. So I guess I'll get the sander out and do a little bit of sanding, and then we'll go from there. So. We'll see you later. Happy scrapping.